down into this nice little unit here that's behind me. Walked all through it, hunted it pretty good this morning. Gave it a good look. Uh, saw nothing. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We had a nice, windy, heavy rain, thunder and lightning last night. I'm anticipating today being kind of a day for movement. It's nice and cleared off and I've got great visibility. I hiked into this nice little unit this morning. Kind of anticipating seeing some deer out in it but I didn't see any so I'm just gonna get out of here quick and move on because I think a good plan today would be to cover some ground it just feels like a great day it's uh November 5th <laughs> getting close. Um, I've decided this evening, this afternoon, to get up to this really high vantage point. I can see a long ways. I got a reprod unit over there. I got a fresh cut back here. Some more reprod down here. Uh, I just hoping to find a, a doe that might have a buck with it, you know. I know that almost every time I drive up in here, I come across another buck in one of these private ranch fields just like today a nice three-point and boy he was running no question about it he was with the doe he's uh, peeing on himself he's totally focused in on her just find something like that up here that would be really cool hiked down into this unit and uh, spotted some deer. Uh, one little buck. And, uh, I couldn't tell. He's pretty small. He's about 500 yards away. Just stepped down into a little draw back there. I can't see him. So chasing the doe. I'm going to walk around back. He's back over here. And see how big he is. Well, I've spent all morning <laughs> in this unit. Uh, Went over to try to find that buck, and he, he gave me the slip. I got over into that little draw that I thought he slipped into, and he was nowhere to be found. There's still a couple of, there's a yearling and a mommy bedded down, down in here still, but I think my day's done. I have to head home. Responsibility calls, so. It's November 6th, though, so uh, I've only got a couple more days to try to find that gray ghost. Sure, you guys can all relate to the pre-dawn wait for light in your truck moments here as a blacktail hunter. We have all had these moments where we're kind of waiting out, waiting for that first light, head on down into our unit or down the ridge we want to walk, whatever it might be. Lots of things cross our minds for me. So much of my faith is, is just pondered upon at these times. My relationship with Jesus. The fact that he's rescued me and saved my soul eternally. The Bible is, is how God speaks to us. If you want to know what he's saying to you, open up the scriptures. That's how he talks to us. That's how he speaks to us. There's a passage that keeps coming to my mind when I think about all of you guys who might watch these videos. 
and maybe not know Jesus. And that that passage is, it says, "What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world, but loses his soul?" You know, we're out here hunting, and some of us have some big goals. <laughs> My goals might be too big for myself and as I continue on this journey, but we have big goals and uh, sometimes we get wrapped up in, in life's goals so much. We, we don't take care of our soul business, which is the most important thing. I lost my uncle recently, passed away in a good friend of mine lost his dad at the end of life it basically Bible says there's really just two doors it's heaven or it's hell and the only way you get to go through that door into heaven is with Jesus he's the one that has kind of bought your way in there because you don't deserve it I don't deserve it but you have to make him Lord of your life, reconcile your sinful self to him. And then you've gained your soul in heaven. <clears throat> well, you can see it's starting to lighten up on me. But I do have a bit of a fog issue. It's looking like I'm going to have to wait weighed out some fog, which is kind of a typical Western Oregon uh, deal. You know, you got to often wait out that fog. Got to be patient. But definitely rutting up here. I had a, had a buck laying right next to the road to my cabin this morning on my way up. And he wasn't overly spooked by me. He kind of got up and stepped into the next field and walked right on by the truck <laughs> but it's go time well yeah this morning didn't quite work out like I was hoping didn't see any deer in the units as I was glassing. I did have some in the roads, a couple sets of does and yearlings, and I did come across a shooter buck. So I got out, grabbed my gun, and he bebopped over the edge into the brush, but didn't look too spooked. I slipped on down there thinking I was going to find him, and he was gone. I couldn't find him. I looked and tried to retrace where he might have went, but he, he slipped out on me. Well, God bless you guys. Happy hunting. And we will see you next time.